What's going on everyone? I hope you're having a great day as always. Today we're going to do a video talking about TENS units and what exactly is a TENS unit, how it helps, how it works, and when you should consider using a TENS unit. Uh, so to kick things off, uh, first thing I'd like to say that I initially got this idea, um, it was like a year or more back. Now I did a video on TENS units and whether they're effective. I talked about it, I actually ordered one online from Amazon and that is actually right here. So I showed you this in the previous video. Uh, I'll link the video in the description below so you can take a look at that as well. Uh, but what I did want to talk about today was the TENS units because I was actually sent a new unit, uh, which is a much, much better unit, uh, upgrade from the last one for sure. Uh, and you can see that right here. And I'm actually going to annotate it on the screen for you and you can see the little pads. But I'm going to put it up on the screen so you can have a look at the unboxing of this particular unit. Uh, it's by Armstrong America and it's been an amazing unit so far. So let's get right into the discussion. Why bother using one of these things? What the hell is a TENS unit and is it worth you buying or considering to buy? Uh, so let's kick things off and start by describing what it is. Now a TENS unit stands for Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation. It's a mouthful. Now, essentially what it means is that it's stimulating your nerves on or beneath your skin. Um, now, it has a variety of benefits, so we're going to get into those right now. Uh, now, firstly, what it actually does, it's an, it's an electrical impulse that uh, reduces the sensation of pain uh, caused by, you know, varying circumstances. Maybe you hurt yourself or something. Um, but what it actually does, it promotes the natural uh, increased pr production of endorphins, uh, which pretty much helps you with managing your pain and your pain tolerance levels. Um, so it actually, it also stimulates muscle tissue. And I noticed this uh, personally, and I'm going to show you a little clip at the end of the video, you're going to see what I mean. Uh, but what it actually does is stimulate the muscle tissue and increase or promote blood flow to that particular area, uh, which in my opinion is a great way to help with healing, uh, regenerating tissues, um, just general circulation, things like that. Uh, so but the general purpose of a TENS unit um, what it actually does, it stimulates your nerves through electrical impulses and it does so on your skin. And now what that does, it does things in, in two different ways. One is at a sensory level. Um, so sensory level simulation, what it basically is doing, um, it kind of controls your pain, your pain management, uh, and it does by blocking the neural gateway um, through which pain travels. So it almost, through the electrical impulses which are sent through your nerves, it kind of blocks what sort of pain you would have previously been experiencing in that, in that area. So it alleviates some pain there. And there's been many studies done on the same. Link in the description below if you're interested in those particular studies. Um, now that is at one level, that's the uh, sensory level stimulation. Now the second level is the motor level stimulation. Um, now the goal of this is basically like what I just said a second ago, it assists in the production uh, of endorphins. Now what endorphins do, they help you with pain management. So if you're feeling uh, pain in a particular area, through the electrical impulses you'll receive an increased production of endorphins which is going to help you with that pain. So you're not going to notice it as much, it's going to be less noticeable. So what I'd like to talk about here is when you should consider using a TENS unit. Uh, for me personally I have a number of in injuries. Um, they're kind of things that just build up over time and I actually have a lot of dense tissue in certain areas because of those injuries. So for me in particular, I've used this TENS unit on my shoulder, uh, I've used it on my traps, I've used it on my knee and my left knee is, is the one that really tends to act up a lot uh, and there's actually been some studies done in small focus groups with TENS units uh, applying it towards osteoarthritis knee injuries uh, or knee problems. So uh, have a look at those links in the description below if you're interested in the studies, again I highly recommend it. Uh, now, when you should not use a TENS unit, uh, I'm just going to list off a few things. A lot of it's common sense, really, but we, we got to get it out there. We got to get it done. So, firstly, do not use a TENS unit, uh, whether if you have cream on of any sort, like if you have any lotions or moisturizers, not a good idea. Two, do not use a TENS unit when you're in a shower or a bathtub. Uh, typically, electrical things don't go well with water. You know, just just happens to be that way. <laughs> Three, don't use the TENS unit anywhere near your eyes. There's no point. That's just, I don't even, I don't, it, it goes without saying, but we're, we're doing it. We're covering them. Number four, if you have uh, a heart condition, a previous heart condition, or if you have a cardiac pacemaker, you don't want to use the TENS unit because it could mess around with those certain things. 
also try to avoid placing the tens pads. Uh, so these pads right here. Avoid placing them on opposing ends. So you're, you're gonna heart's gonna be over here. You're gonna place one here. You're gonna place one at the back. You don't want the current running through and crossing through your heart vicinity. So recommend not doing that. Um, you also don't want to use a tens uh, if you have. Alzheimer's disease or dementia or any other cognitive problems. You don't you don't want to mix things up in that sense. Uh, one other scenario where you don't want to use want to use it is if you have uh, some sort of debilitating situation where you don't quite feel the sensations on your skin. So if you have like burns, severe burns, and things like that, where you've actually lost a lot of the neural pathways from your skin, a lot of the sensations, because what you'll end up doing is jacking up the power settings. Uh, on this, you know, this device or any other device, and you won't be able to feel what's actually happening, and you could end up hurting yourself because you're just you're just giving it too much. You're giving it. You're going zero to a hundred, and you're not ready to do that. So uh, that's when I wouldn't recommend using it. Uh, but aside from that, there's a lot of great benefits to it. As I've described, it's great for active recovery. It's great for healing. Honestly, it's great for me when I'm just lazy watching something on TV and I don't feel like stretching or foam rolling, uh, especially if I have an injury that I need to deal with. I'll treat it with a tens unit. Uh, so check out this TENS unit if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the information. Let me know if you've tried a TENS unit. Comment down below. And otherwise, I'll catch you again in that next one. Take care.